No home in West Dallas. That's the message from the city's mayor tonight after a family says they have been the target of racist messages and vandalism. They have contacted the FBI and they also shared their story with Julia Fellow. For the past two months, Reginald Wilkerson says he and his family came out of their home to find their car tires slashed, windows broken, and graphic notes left behind. Saying like, get out of my neighborhood. I'm not going to say the, yeah. the bad words. He says this has happened five separate times in recent weeks. One note saying the family needed to go back to the north side, along with words so bad we cannot show them on TV. Each time he has reported it to police. My daughter had to go somewhere else. It's just sick to know somebody like watches you that much. Wilkerson says he contacted the FBI and turned those notes over to them to investigate this as a possible hate crime. Are they doing like um, analysis on the on the handwriting or anything? Yeah, so they actually took it to a different a different area for the FBI and actually um, started like doing some research trying to catch the guy's fingers print or a girl's fingerprint, whoever it is. The FBI office in Milwaukee tells TMJ4 News more than 70 hate crimes have. Already been reported so far this year. The Wilkerson's now have cameras out, hoping to catch who is responsible. I just want to make for sure, like the next person doesn't have to go through this stuff. You don't have to spend money because somebody has a, an opinion about your color. It shouldn't be tolerated. It's not okay. The latest data from the FBI shows that as of 2020, more than 8,000 hate crime incidents have been reported, involving more than 11,000 victims. That is a 12-year high. The FBI says that number is likely higher as many cases are never reported to them. Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News.